All right, boys and girls, friends, neighbors, loved ones. Today's project is trailer repair. Uh, I think you guys might remember this trailer was the COVID trailer that we built during uh, COVID lockdown fiasco that we were forced into. And uh, yeah, winter in New Brunswick's a little tough on her. Beat the fenders. Um... Uh, I'm just going over it real quick. I'm gonna, we're gonna clean up the hubs. We're gonna spray them. We're gonna fix the fenders, if not replace the fenders. I got a spring shackle coming undone a little bit. And um, actually, snow even bent up on the spring shackle a little bit. Yeah, it's uh, it's tough. The snow loads here are tough. This, this was buried under five feet of snow. I'm not gonna lie to you, it was tough. Um, the original light. Oh, it tore the bracket off. The light bracket got tore off. And I put another light on it to get us back and forth. And this is what you got with snow load on the light. So it just destroyed that. So I think, uh, what do we got here? You know what? You know what musty, woo, musty one would go, oh yeah, scored a light bulb. Oh, even that's bent. No, it broke the light. Would you, would you, would, no, is it still there? I don't know. What do you think, guys? Yeah, it's still there. <laughs> Must you want to be excited about that? We got to keep a light bulb out of this. There you go. Jake's going to put that in the uh, light bulb mm -hmm. drawer. Um, of course, your license plates get mangled. It's a utility trailer. And this is Ontario plate. So what we got to do here is we got to get this thing certified. So um, that entails putting on new lights. Now these lights were like forty bucks or something on M on, from Princess Auto. It's the second set on here. Uh, they're just complete kife. Like, and these weren't even good. These weren't water sealed. They're not. Uh, if you put them on a boat trailer, you'll pop the bulbs if, if you don't remember to unplug it so when the hot water hits them. So guess what we did? I went on the, the jungle site and I got this. Would you look at that? Now that's, uh, it's not, it's about 16th of an inch thick metal. So what would that be? You can't remember from my, from my metal. 11, so it'd be 14 gauge for 16th, somewhere around there. Probably, yeah. 12 or 14, so whatever. It's good and decent. So these come, uh, they come oil soaked because they're full of oil. And then look at this. LEDs. LEDs. Like, wow. We're talking freaking LEDs. And you know what? And it's got the side marker light. Like, look at how gorgeous that is. And that's straight up out of the jungle site. Um, so what we're going to do, I already prepped this off. You can see where the wiring got ripped off on the other one. We're going to weld this right in here. Jake's going to do the welding because he's the welding wizard. Now, I'm a good welder, but Jake's a better welder than I am for sure. And it was, uh, yeah, it was kind of a sad day when he passed, surpassed me in welding capability. Because he, he did it hard. He killed me hard. Anyway, I'm digressing again, as usual. But uh, we bent the tongue a little bit, so we're going to run a straight edge down it, see what's going on with that. I really don't want to cut it off and replace it, but if we have to, we will. But I think we can get it back. Yeah, it's not super bad. It tweaked it a little bit. Because I think the tractor hit it when it was buried in the snow. But that's your original coupler, and you don't see any damage to it, so. Yeah, we threw this together rapidly. We hauled it. It's been to, uh, that's what, twice out here to, to New Brunswick from Ontario? Yeah. It, 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 Did it, it there and back trip? and plow. Yeah, we had that three-bottom plow in here. So, yeah, it's been a good trailer. Got a spare set of tires for it. On a rough road, too. Okay. Yeah, we took her down to 108. That was just nuts. The highway in New Brunswick was... No lights and no power and potholes, the side of kiddie pools and all that stuff. 
I think what we're going to do is I'm going to make a modification to it, but I'm not going to do it right today, but I got a plan in my mind. I am going to, just in case we ever run into a motorcycle, I saw this on a U-Haul trailer, guys. I'm going to put a, a notch in here for the front tire to go into. Because this is wasted space anyway. So I thought, well, that's a great idea, right? We'll come straight out like this. And then we'll we'll, we'll build a box in there. I'll find the, the trailer on the uh, U-Haul site, and we'll just steal their idea. What the hell, right? Um... I saw that on a bad Chad deal. So, him and Jolene. So, anybody you guys know about bad Chad and Jolene, you know what's going on there. That's for sure. Unfortunately, uh, Jim's too old for that kind of nonsense. And Mrs. Uh, Mrs. Mrs. Jim, she's she's hitting close, getting close to 60 years old now. She'll be 58 this year. Yeah. So, yeah, our days are beyond that but th uh, that's okay we'll, we'll keep going we're going to keep making you guys content so let's uh let's get this set up that's the intro sorry it's six minutes long i'm crazy but i'm pretty amped up we got the new shop um we got it all set up we've been moving stuff out of out of the uh the, up on the mountain there and we're getting stuff put away we're getting some cupboards and some shelves are going to go up but we're not there because we got to get the table saw up but, uh, hey, you guys need any uh, chainsaw oil? I think we were overstocked. It was two rows deep back there. Yeah. Grinding abrasives. Uh, new grinder in the box. So, yeah, we're doing okay. Uh, we got this, the old compressor. The new one's coming soon. We're going to bring it over. So, there we are. Anyway, we're, let's get, uh, get to, well, this is going to be a short video on probably under 15 minutes. There's not much to do. But, uh, like I said, that, this is the... Uh, our custom built trailer we built it ourselves now we're just going to do some upgrades to it not a big deal so if these guys uh like the stuff don't forget ring the bell and i think i'll even change those uh let's zoom in there see those lights we'll change those too i'll order some up on the jungle site anyway there you go uh we will uh we'll forget we'll carry on thanks and uh don't forget like subscribe um and ring the bell. Be right back with the welding. So we got the uh, the light enclosure mocked up. We're just going to square it up, and then uh, Jake's going to weld her in. We got everything prepped. Um, so there you go. And uh, when we're done this, I got to undercoat this trailer. I'm going to flip it over, clean it all up. We got the undercoating gun. We've got the uh, the undercoating. We'll do a video on that too. And then we're not sure what we're doing with the tailgate. Because right now, sorry guys, we got to slide in. And it's okay, but it ain't the greatest. So, this is where we are. On that. Sorry to hit you guys in the head. Right there, I'm liking that. So I'll put a little bit of squeeze on her. There, oh, the clamp. These Bessie clamps are awesome. I bought these. I can't remember. I got a wicked deal on them. <laughs> like these things are just sick money nowadays. Yeah, sixty dollars per clamp. So Jake's checking out. That looks good, eh, Jake? You yeah. like that? And some of the bigger okay. ones upwards of three hundred dollars. So we're gonna weld that in. My thought was, you guys, to keep it tucked underneath, um, so that way it doesn't get smashed off. Um, it should be okay for some like bouncing. Um, you know, like I guess we could have cut them into here, but this is down and dirty. This is fifty bucks. Now, I think they're $49.99. I know I didn't pay that for these. And uh, this is just going to work just fine. This is what we're going to do. I'll have to hang the license plate off the, that side there where it is. I got a bracket. And again, from the, the, jungle, the jungle site. And then uh, we'll have all this, all this done. So Jake's going to get set up and weld this. And then uh, we'll get to it on that. So stand by. On the end, too? Yeah. But we had a little bit of a slowdown. Need more uh, 
Oh, the old SP125 Plus. The Lincoln Electric. The Red Wonder. Little Red. We got Little Red and Big Red. Big Red's not here yet. We don't have the power to run them anyway. Uh, there you go. That uh, Miller Elite. She takes 2450 cells. And luckily I had some in stock because the one's in the... Ground? Yeah, you're good. You just ticked. Where's that uh, side what? cutters? I just don't want to make a big mess. Could have been a ball of shit on the end of there. Ball of shite. Uh, I cut it before. This might be a little bit. Little bit. Oh! Oh, that's stuff. What? Just hang on a second. Contact tip? No, it's the cut on the... So what do we have for settings? Should be okay. Might go a little bit hotter if you could, or is that all the way? You want heat? Yeah, just a touch. Just a touch. Well, we're... Yeah, that's full whack on the heat. So that's the limits of uh, a 110 powered welder. That's about all the chute you're going to get out of it. Huh? Yeah, that's about all the chute you're going to get. It's just one of those things. Somewhere close to the middle, you figure? Yeah. Thank you, beauty. It's not too bad. For a little tiny buzz box. The dirty wire. That wire's got to be dirtier than heck. Yeah, we got to... So I ordered a new spool of wire uh, from the, uh, I don't get the deals anymore. So you have to rely on the jungle. On the jungle site. Trying to overhead here a bit on the one side. Alrighty, that's just a rinse and repeat on both sides. Uh, I don't have any way of showing you the welds per se. And that one you don't want to see. It's so not brutal, but... that's about as far as we can go right now. And then I'll, it'll be the same on the other side, and we'll come back once that's all welded on. Uh, hey there, boys and girls. I messed up. I forgot to do the content of repairing the lights. But as you can see, we got them installed. Um, we don't have the license plate light on because all this stuff here is coming off. This was our temporary uh, tailgate setup that we had because we needed to do that. So anyway, there's the lights. Clearance on the side. Uh, tail turn on the right. These front marker lights up here I've ordered on from jungle, the jungle store um, to match the ones at the back on the side just because and then we're going to repaint this whole trailer um the back fender's got buckles in it and i can't get it straight so it might involve some heating or dollying but i can't find my body ha my body hammers i have a set of body hammers and i can't find them so this is the product that we use to do the wiring and you guys saw that on that other trailer video I did. And just let me know if there's anything that you want me to do and I'll do another one for you. But that was the stuff there. These work really good. For something that comes out of that jungle website, this is a good product. I don't have any complaints. It does what it says and it is what it says it is and all that kind of jazz morale. So, and I do like these. These have the adhesive in them. So they're self-sealing. Not only do, sorry, I get it in focus. Not only do they shrink, shrink ratios three to one is they also have adhesive in them. And the adhesive is nice. That gives you the, uh, the water sealing capabilities. So we had to get, like I said, we had to jump on the trailer, 
to get that done. Um, we're cleaning up, putting away all our stuff. That's 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 gun cleaner, Jake. Okay, that goes downstairs. It goes downstairs. Um, sorry, not gun. Um, what do we call that? Explosive propulsion devices. That's it. Explosive pro. Expro, expro, little, 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 explosive projectile device. We don't use those words, those scary words anymore. Um, it's just not going to happen. So we can't, we can't use scary words. So the lawnmower ran good this morning. I did that video yesterday. So the trailer's done. I got a new uh, plug to put on the front. Maybe I'll show you guys that. I'll make another video. I don't care. So that's the bad boy there. He's cleaned up all this so far. I'm stopped right there because I was getting tired. We got this. This is going to be the new project. So that's up and coming. But that's all I'm showing you. Can't show you no more. I got a couple of these projects coming. So there it is. The trailer's done. New lights on the trailer. She's ready to haul some more stuff for us. Um, there it is there. That was the whole build of this trailer is in one of the videos. That's the tailgate. So, okay. The video is there how we built this. We built this during COVID lockdown. Basically out of materials we had laying on hand. That the axle was a spare for a boat trailer that never got used. So, we're going to clean it up, paint it. And uh, it's one heck of a trailer, guys. She's a brute. Uh, heavy duty like you have no idea what we put this poor little trailer through and it come through and the only thing we did was two sets of tail lights from the snow smashing them off so we don't have that problem anymore because we now have those in case steel ones so there you go um as you can see things are changing we'll get more into it thanks for watching this video on how to put um those lights i think they're 49 bucks a pair now um how to pop those in we just welded them on and they go through the rubber grommets this is what you get right here this is the set for the other trailer this is how you get them they're soaked in oil all the parts are inside so the big 15 foot trailer's getting a set of those because i'm tired of smashed lights so that's what that looks like i think it looks pretty good it's pretty classy and then uh we'll go from there okay so thanks uh Thanks for uh, watching another one of my videos. And uh, Jake and I said, uh, or as Jake and I are asking you, please subscribe, ring the bell, comment. You know, because, uh, yeah. Yeah, exactly. That's where we are. Yep. So we will see you guys. We will see you. Our one, we have one fan, him. We will see you. Yep. Later. Bye now.